Hey everyone, my name is Pritam and you are watching Tech with Pri. Welcome to my channel and I'm back with another tech video. Now this is the 20th video of our newly created technical series called ServiceNow. So in my last video, we have understood the concept of extend table and also have shown you how you can create an extend table and what are the benefits of it. And also with that, we have understood the another important concept, which is the dictionary overrides, right? And with that also completed that section of tables, right? And we are going to start today a new section. But if you missed the last video, guys, don't worry. I'm going to put the link in the description and also you can find the link right now here on your screen. Right. So let's go to the PPT and let's see what we are going to learn for this section. What are the topics you are going to cover? OK, so in this session, we are going to do about user administration. That's what we are going to learn. So today we will start with user and groups and also we'll cover roles, access control list, LDAP, SSO impersonation. That's this kind of very, very important concept we are going to cover. And finally, we are going to learn about the import sets, guys, which is very, very, very important. So let's start today's video. So as discussed today, we are going to learn about user and groups. It's a very, very important concept, guys. We are going to learn a lot of things. So users, who are the users? So you already know users means those people who are having a ServiceNow account. So if you are if you are having a ServiceNow developer account right now, if you're following the video, if you're already having an account, that means you are a ServiceNow user, right? So whenever you create a user, that data stores under the sys underscore user table. Again, we know we already seen in the table section. There are so many tables in service now and all the information, different, different aspects like users, groups, we will see roles. We will understand ACL. All this topic has different, different table they have, right? So for this, this is the user table. And also we have seen how those tables are related and how you can create schema map and all these things have been discussed in the uh, last section, guys. So if you miss that section, uh, go and watch the section. All the links are there in the description and you should not miss that section. That's a very important one, right? So users information are stored under the sys user table. So user can be part of a specific group. We will see today how what is group and how we can create a group. Also, you can assign different roles to the user specifically. Basically, uh, you know, uh, as for service now documents, it is suggested that the roles should be assigned not to the user, but to the group directly. Right. And I'll tell you why. OK, so that's all about the user. So let's quickly see about the group and then I'll go to the service now instance and create users and groups. OK. So groups groups is the collection of users which has the same roles. Like I said, for an example, like you're creating a management group and a finance group. So the roles for the finance group would be same for all of the people who are part of the finance group. Right. And again, if I talk about the management group, the people in the management group, they would have a different role that is assigned to all of the people that that is that would be assigned to the all of the group members right so it's well practiced that role should be assigned to the group it is part of the sys user group table so the user table is sys user and the group table is sys user underscore group table roles are assigned in a group like i said and group can be part of the parent group that i'll show you i mean a group can be part of another group also that's called the parent and child group okay so these are the concept of users and groups guys. So let's go to the service now and let's understand in a more better way. So right now in my I'm in my service now portal guys. So I will go to the first sys user table. So I'll type sys underscore user dot list. This is one of the way uh, to see the users list. You can see there are 622. Uh, users are there. So this is all the out of the box. So whenever you uh, created or your account in the developer account. So when you receive the account, you will receive user details. These are the all dummy users. OK, and also you can open user section by typing user on the filter section. And if I go down, you can see under organization, you can get the users. So this would be the same list. OK, all right. So if you can see we have this is the user table. So let me right click and Sorry, let me click on column option menu configured and table right now. We know that after learning the table section that how we can go to the table. So you can see this is the name of the table, which is sys user and uh, name label is user. And these are the fields which is uh, there. Most of the fields you can understand details about the user, right? Cost center, country code, date format, etc, etc. So let's create a user. I'm going to click on the new button under the user table. These are the information. We can provide to the users so like uh, user ID. So let's type some user ID. Let's create user like uh, 
P Ganguly maybe. My name is Pritam Ganguly or Pritam Jit Ganguly. So I'm typing like that. First name is Pritam. Last name is Ganguly. So may uh, sorry, <laughs> Ganguly. Uh, title maybe uh, so maybe uh, YouTuber. That's my title. Department. So I can put some department. Let's see what are the departments available here. And you can see this information are coming from the departments table, right? So maybe IT. Uh, so do I need a password reset? So whenever I'll open the account, it would ask me to reset the password. So let's not go for that. Yeah, okay, so account would be active. Email ID. So let's put some email ID. Pritam dot Ganguly at Gmail. I'm quite sure that's not my email. So language I can choose as of now it's English uh, calendar integration outlook time zone you can choose here it's America Los Angeles date format business phone I can put my mobile number here and also I can add my photo here which I'm not doing right now. So these are the information you can after you provide and then you can see there is a message to set up users password save the record and then click set password. So suppose you are the administrator and you need to create a user. Okay. Okay. And you will set the password and I will choose this option password needs reset. So user would try with the default password that you will give to the user and then user will reset their own password. Okay. So I'm going to save it. And now you can see primary email device created from Pritam Ganguly. This has been created. Okay. Fine. And also I am also now I'm getting an option to set password. So you see it is asking I can set my password. So if I click on that, you can see it is asking to type a password. However, in service now recent versions, they are quite strong and enough about the security. So now I can generate password from by clicking this button. Sorry. You can see these are the password I can generate. Also, I can oh, see the password. It's quite big. Okay. And then I can again, like I said, I can uh, choose my own password. Okay. So let me show you. So let's generate the password and let's copy it. I've copied the password. I'm going to save it. And also password needs reset is selected. Password save successfully. So I'm going to close it. I'm going to click on update. Now what I'm going to do is that I'm going to let's not save it here. I'm going to log out. And let's log in with our new user. So here I'm going to put the username which I have given P Ganguly and then the password I already copied. I'm going to click on login and it is asking me to choose a password. First the current password I'm going to give which I copied there and the new password I'm going to set here. All right, I'm going to click on submit and now I'm logging with my new user which is Pritam Ganguly. You see? And it's showing also my role that is a YouTuber. Okay. So if I go to the all, I would have very less access. You can see very less access I have because I do not have assigned any role or I'm not part of any groups also. Right. So this is how you can create a new user. Okay. So let me go back to my account. So I'm going to log out and log in back, log back in with the system administrator. So now for the username password, I can go to my service node developer account and I can, you know, I can go to manage instance password. From here, I can copy the username and the password. And you see, I'm again part of the, uh, so I'm again log back in as a system administrator, right? So let's create quickly another user so that I can show you the group stuff. So this time I'll type user here and go to the users under organization. And I'm going to click on new here. Let's create another one. Okay, so I've created another user. You can see username is uh, J Gang and it's the name of the first name is Harry Ganguly. So again, you can choose any of this name just to for the demo and I'm showing you. Okay, all this information is there and I'm going to click on submit. And let's not create any password or things like now. And I can impersonate also as a different user, right? You know, the, with the help of the impersonation. However, in this section, we will learn more about impersonation. But I've already told you in the filter searching area, in the modifying list and form that with the help of impersonate user, you can go to a different user. 
so for an example uh, if i click on impersonate user and i can go to the user that i've created right now so it's harry ganguly if i type harry here i can you can see i can click on impersonate so right now i would be logged in as a harry ganguly you can see i logged in as a harry ganguly right and if i just click on end impersonation it would be end, right so these are all about the users guys right now let's create a group and let's add users there right so for group creation again i can go to this is underscore user underscore group or i can type group so let's this time type group and if i go bottom here under system security user and groups you can see the groups are available so i'll go to the groups so these are the groups that are already there out of the box 45 groups you can see so i'm gonna click on new button so i'll name the group so maybe uh let's name the group it group the first one and i can choose any manager of that group if i want to assign so let's assign someone from the list from some demo user uh, or maybe i can assign my own user but yeah i have only two so let's assign amelia she's the manager of the it group i can create a group email and also i can put another group as a parent right now i'm not doing i'm just gonna hit uh, right click and save so the it group is created and i'm gonna add pritam in this group so you can see if I go to uh, if I go below there are section tabs for roles group members groups if it's part of another group and any subscriptions are there license so roles we will understand in the next video so for the group members I'm gonna click on edit button so if I'm gonna click on new buttons then I would be able to create new user and then the user will automatically add it to the group but I'm gonna click on edit by clicking edit it is showing you can see it is showing me all the list of the users uh, available okay i can add some filter condition here so let me just search about pritam type pritam pritam ganguly i'll just move it here and i'm gonna click on save and now you can see pritam ganguly is the part of the it group okay and let's add another user from the demo user uh, let's add abel tutor so abel tutor and pritam ganguly is the part of this group called it group okay that's it uh, I'm gonna click on update now let's create another group this time I will name it as a sales group for your practice you can put any anything guys so just I'm showing as a demo so let's put Abraham Lincoln as a manager okay and I'll choose the parent group just to show you for an example the IT group as a parent group so I'll type IT IT group as a parent group and then I'll save it because I need to add the team members okay it's created now I'll gonna click on edit so I'm gonna add our new member which is who is the Hadi so H A R R Y I'm gonna add him and also I'm gonna add Abraham Lincoln because he's a manager of the group so he has to be part of the group right so in the in the previous group I did not add the uh, the group manager so I'm gonna add it also so you see the group members are let me click on save again Harry Ganguly and Abraham Lincoln who is the manager is a part of this group right so I'm gonna go back to the IT group so if I click on the update button here I'm gonna click on update so it will show the latest group that I've created sales group and it group so i'll go to the it group and here i'm gonna click on edit and amelia has to be added as a manager he's a she's a manager so she has to be part of the group right that's quite simple so i add amelia in the group and i'm gonna save it now you can see it group under group it is showing one because sales it group is a parent group of the sales group because if i open the sales group in the new tab you would be able to see i have made it group as a parent of sales group you can see parent of sales group right so in the next video when we will discuss about the roles then you will be able to see that what are the importance of roles and how roles can be inherited from group to groups and what different relations of it that's going to be very very interesting guys so you have seen how you can create users in service now and also you can set their password also you, how you can create groups you can add people in the group and makes it more easy right so it's quite easy guys creating groups and users so in the next video we will understand roles which is very important you will understand how different roles works in different way and how powerful service now roles are right
so this is it for today guys if you find this video helpful hit the like button if you have any doubt come to the comment section and don't forget to share this video with your friends and families so that it can reach out to many people thank you see you in my next video bye bye